Hello guys, welcome back to A7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily A7 Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we will answer the question that why we use steel with the concrete? Why not the aluminium or brass or glass or any other material? Why we always use steel bar with the concrete? So in this lecture, we are mainly focused the reason that why we provide the steel with the concrete. And there is only one reason that satisfied that satisfy the purpose of the steel bar inside the concrete. So if you look to the concrete, this is a section of any beam, let's suppose. So we provide this is the concrete throughout the section, and this is the, let's suppose the steel bar. So the bond between the steel and concrete is very really important in this beam section in order to take the load. So there will be some bond between the steel and concrete. And this bond should be durable. Durable means that this bond should be enough, should have enough strength throughout its life structure. For example, if the beam is designed for 50 years, so this bond should have good enough strength for the 50 years. So why we have used the steel bar? Because the steel bar have the similar coefficient of thermal expansion with that of the concrete. So that's the main reason that why we provide the steel inside the concrete. Because both the material have the similar, not exactly similar, but almost similar coefficient of thermal expansion. They help that they help to have good bond strength throughout the life of the structure because during the lifespan of the structure there, there might be variation in the temperature there might be there might be high temperature and low temperature so with the variation there are stresses creates in uh, in this bond region so when they have similar coefficient of expansion thermal expansion so they will expand when heat occurs and they will it, contract when it cools. So both these material having similar coefficient of thermal expansion, that's the main reason that they have good bond strength throughout its life structure. So if you look to the concrete, which with the coefficient of thermal expansion alpha equal to the 10 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 6 per centigrade. This is the value of coefficient of thermal expansion for the concrete. If you look to the steel, so they also have similar, almost similar, 10 and 11, only one unit is difference between their coefficient of thermal expansion. That's why we use this material inside the concrete. And the aluminum, we have also bars made of aluminum. We can make the bars with the aluminum having high tensile strength, but their coefficient of thermal expansion is too high. So when we use this, aluminium inside the concrete so aluminium will expand too much and concrete will not expand too much when the heat occurs so there will be some stresses creates uh, during their lifespan so it will which will affect the bond strength between these two material and hence it will affect the lifespan of the structure so that's why we don't provide the aluminium with the concrete because of its high difference in the coefficient of thermal expansion it is 10 and here it is 23 which is almost 13 unit difference. The bros is also the same reason that they have higher coefficient of thermal expansion as compared to the concrete. The lead also have higher coefficient of thermal expansion and also the rubber which is which is almost 80, uh, 80 unit of coefficient of thermal expansion can also not be used in this concrete. So hope you guys understand that the main reason that why we provide the steel with the concrete is because of its similarity in the coefficient of thermal expansion that they have similar coefficient of the thermal expansion and during the lifespan their bond will not uh, deteriorate or will not affected by the stresses due to the variation in the temperature hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video